October 29, 2018, a 737 MAX jet flown by Indonesia's Lion Air crashed off the coast, killing all 189 on board. Almost everybody and their brother forget about the first crash. There was a first crash. And that was a, a sign, a signal that something was wrong. Just four months later, in March, a MAX crash in Ethiopia. The crash killed 157 people. I can only describe her as a super activist. Including Chris Moore's daughter, Danielle. She was our navigator. And um, she, she, she was our bright light. Chris believes more should have been done to prevent this second crash. It really should have been a, uh, a wake-up call. Days after the Ethiopia crash, the FAA grounded the 737 MAX for 20 months. The problem was with the training, and the problem was also with that one embedded feature that uh, was allowed to make a single-point failure if the pilots failed. I think the biggest lesson is both the importance of human factors in terms of the reliability and safety of the airliner. The NTSB says it wasn't a matter of incompetence by the pilots, rather a lack of knowledge. How did we fail to understand that we were not instituting this knowledge in people's heads? Expert John Nance says to move forward, Boeing had to rectify the problem. Solving that has been an avenue towards a lot of relief on all our parts in, in commercial aviation. Scrutiny fell on the FAA over lax oversight of Boeing, saying the regulator allowed the company to put profits over safety. Boeing had to make updates to its software, computer, and pilot training in order to get their jets back in the sky. Boeing has learned the lessons, Airbus has learned the lessons that Boeing learned, and the whole community is better for it. And I've lost not just a daughter, I've lost a family. But many victims' families say this isn't over. And that's what people don't understand. And, you know, it's not something that you just get over. Through September of this year, Boeing has secured orders for 566 737 MAX planes and delivered 280.